Hello friends, welcome back to module five, lesson number two, hiring your all-star team. In this lesson, you're gonna learn how to hire your all-star team so then that way they can run the dream restaurant of yours. Now, before we talk about how to even hire an all-star team, we need to define what are the positions that make up for your all-star team. First of all, there is front of the house, managers, servers, bus person, host, and hostess. When we're thinking back of the house, there are cooks, dishwashers, and when there are bigger operations, there are head chef, shoe chef, line cooks, so on and so forth. Supporting staff. What are some of the supporting staff? Bartenders, baristas, cashiers, depending on the operations that you run, you may have these, you may not have these. Overall, this becomes the, all the positions you need to account for for your all-star team. I'm not saying that you need every uh, every position there is on this list, but having and knowing the fact that where these people and where these roles play in makes you and allows you to actually choose your team properly and build your team properly. So duties will cross over between groups. So for smaller operations specifically, groups may overlap. And what does that mean? It means that managers may double as a host and servers may also bus tables. Cashiers might act as baristas. Smaller operations, make sure that you train them and actually actually hire them so then that way they know they're gonna be responsible for multiple different job descriptions. As your company grows and as your restaurant scales bigger and bigger, we see that jobs are a lot more specific. So if you're busing a table, you're gonna be just busing tables all day long. That's much more for a bigger operation, but for the sake of a smaller operation, I highly recommend you to hire and build your team based on overlapping or responsibilities and make sure that people know about that because it just makes for a much more agile team that you have. Because for example, if your manager, or let's say for example, your host is sick, What's gonna happen? Your manager can come in and fill in that spot. Same thing if your server is taking a, a week off to go home, then at least your busboy can actually go and level up and become a server as well. So making sure that your staff and people that you hire know that there will be um, double and crossover between groups is essential when you're hiring an all-star team, especially for a smaller operation. Now, I get asked this question so much, and which is the reason why I'm including it in this slide as reference. How many staff members do you need? It all depends on your food and beverage business type and size. And this is only for reference purpose only, okay? So don't quote me on this, and this is what I see a lot of people do. Depending on your operation, this can be more or it could be less. If we're talking about front of the house, you have five to 12 tables, you need one staff per shift. On a typical day, let's say if you, have, if you have like two shifts, then you need two staffs. Back of the house, if you're servicing up to 50 customers per hour, that's a lot of customers per hour, then you need probably four staff per shift. The cooks, line cooks, shoe chef, dishwashers to help you guys out. Support staff, one to two staff as needed. And once again, this is for reference purpose only. You might need more or you might need less depending on your operation. But this gives you a general gist and a framework of what you can follow to start off your operations. Now, what to look for in your all-star team members, okay? People who are committed, aligned with your vision, that believes in the mission that you have and what you're trying to achieve and the goals that you guys have in mind. Values over skill set, guys. These are all much more of a priority over the skill set that they have. They might be um, um, front of the house manager for a really five-star hotel, but they might not fit in your culture it might not fit in your values it might not fit for what you're trying to create so it doesn't matter how much of a great skill set they have if the values don't align then please don't hire them because it's just not the right fit most important thing is the values because at the end of the day innate values cannot be taught where a skill set can be taught so make sure that you hire for the innate values that make sure that you guys are aligned and gelled with because at the end of the day you just don't want to work with people that you don't enjoy seeing every day on a regular basis right also the four all-star characteristics that i look for whenever i'm hiring and this also comes as part of a, a collective of surveys that i've interviewed uh, really successful restauranteurs and this is what they say collaborative professional communicative 
and also being authentic. These are the four core all-star characteristics to look for when hiring an all-star team. More notable supporting characteristics, punctual, humble, positive attitude. So these are all a big list of characteristics that you should look for and that you could look for when you're trying to hire someone. I'm not saying that person needs all of these characteristics or that they're a no-go. It really comes back down to what you believe in as a restauranteur and as the owner. Um, and I'm just providing this as a kind of go-to guide for you as a reference when you're hiring and it, when you don't know what skill set or what values to hire for, this becomes a really great list. Now, we understand what makes for a great staff. How do we even hire them? Well, first off, referrals are your best bet because people who are good, they hang out with each other. Their values tend to align much more with each other and those don't won't stay together for too long. Just like how you and your friends group, you tend to have the same types of values and that's the reason why you guys are friends. And the people that don't share the same type of values already start to fade away from your crowd and your inner circle. Same thing with your friends, which is the reason why having referrals is a really, really uh, great way to hire for staff. It's free and it also, at the end of the day, you can provide incentive for referrals. So for example, if you have an all-star team member in your, in your whole team, you're like, wow, I really enjoy working with this person. Maybe you can incentivize them. Hey, you know what? If you have any friends who are in the industry or who wants to start in this industry, if you refer them over, I'll give you an extra hundred bucks for every successful referrals or something along the lines of that, they'll be much more inclined to actually even just refer their friends because who doesn't like to work with their friends? In addition to that, they also make an extra side hundred bucks. Why not? Another way to hire for all-star team is on your own website and on your social media. Usually this is a great place because people who buy into your values and vision follow you religiously. And when you open up an opportunity to work with you, they would be all over it. It's free to post, so which is another reason why I would highly recommend posting on these platforms. Next up is job, job sites like Craigslist, such that people are constantly looking for jobs. It's low and free or free. However, with job sites, do know for one thing that the quality might be very different. The values are really, it's, it's a wild mix of people on Craigslist, which is the reason why you need to vet these people even more carefully. Same thing with newspapers, good to find good talent, low and fee. Consultants. If and when you grow to a certain point where you're looking for a more higher level skill set, you can consider ha having consultants to help you find these people, mainly head chefs and front of the house managers uh, if you have that scale. But they do take a hefty fee, so it's not something I recommend for a first time restauranteur. I would much rather you uh, create your own team from your own other resources rather than going for consultants because it just allows you to save some money. Job listing templates that work. So you might be asking, hey, Wilson, like what do I post on my jobs, job postings? Well, in the link below, we already included a template of what I use to hire. So make sure that you guys download in the link below so then that way you can utilize this template. Interview questions to ask when hiring. Once again, you know for a fact that, hey, you know what, these are the values I'm looking for, but what kind of questions are asked during an interview? Do I just Google them? No, you invested in this course, and which is the reason why, once again, it's in the link below. Download it and use these questions to interview staff, okay? And also make it your own. These are all reference and templates that I'm sharing with you uh, as, a, as a starting point, but make it your own give in and inject your own character into these types of questions and postings. Now it is your turn to assemble your all-star team, determine the personnel that you would need to hire for, and ask for referrals. In the link below, all the resources are there for you. Use it to your advantage. Hopefully you have learned how to hire your all-star team in this lesson who will run your dream restaurant for you. In the next lesson, what we're gonna be talking about now that you have them hired, how do you train them? So then that way you can create an employee handbook and it just becomes super easy for you to onboard anyone else in the future. This is it for this lesson. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.